Before we jump into my July spreads, I quickly wanted to do a flip through of April because in my opinion, it looks really cute and the style of my July theme is kind of based on this one. For July, I chose a beach slash sailor theme with a color scheme of navy and peach. And all of this is really inspired by the stickers that I will be using. I found these in a Dutch store called Action. They were really cheap, like one or two euros. And some of them I don't really like. They are a bit tacky in my opinion, but some of them I love. So I had to buy them. Just in like my last theme, I wanted to use a collage method, mixing patterns and textures. It creates a border around my spread. And within that border, I wrote down a calendar overview with a list of events and goals underneath it. With a Crayola super tip, I wrote down July. And if you use this marker more um, on the side, or how do you explain it? If you use more of the thicker side of the marker, you can uh, write on top of it as well. And that is what I did. I wrote an outline of the letter a little bit more on the side of the base that I made with the marker, if that makes sense. And this gives a really cool effect, but I didn't really like how this one in particular um, turned out, how it looked. So I placed a piece of paper on top of it to cover it up and I gave it another try at the top of the page and with the other text on this page as well. So for events and for goals, I tried again and it didn't turn out perfectly, but I do really like it. It is really playful and fun. So give it a try on a piece of paper and see how it looks. And then you can use it in your bullet journal. So I used the left page for planning and on the right I went for a more decorative look by hand lettering a quote. Smooth seas won't make skillful sailors is a quote that reminds me we all need hard times to grow. Whether it is something in your personal life or with work or school, we all have those challenging periods of time in our lives. But without those, we wouldn't build the strength and the skills we need to get further in life, you know. It is not that I am expecting challenging times right now. I just really like the quote and how it suits my theme. Also, I didn't really practice my hand lettering in a while, so I really needed to write everything down in pencil before I went all in. And I was so rusty that I had to get inspiration from a hand lettering book, but I think that it looks really cool. I am trying to think about things to say about hand lettering, but my only good tip I can give you is practice, practice, practice. Try different kinds of fonts and styles. Look at examples and try to recreate those first. That also really helps a lot. That is how I learned basically. And again, practice, practice, practice.
Especially the word skillful took a long time to create because placing little circles takes a lot of time but it gives a really cool effect. So fill in the empty space around the circles with a fine liner and you get dark letters with white dots. Of course you can also fill in all of the letters and just draw white dots with for example a white Posca pen. To make this quote look more playful and more colorful I used the peach uh, Crayola pen again and I gave some of the words a drop shadow and I um, filled in smooth seas with a black pen but I don't really like it. I regret doing it but no turning back now so this is how it turned out and I really like how it looks with the uh, sailor sticker. I think it looks really cute with the uh, paper boat as well uh, on the bottom of the page. And, and yeah, let me know what you think of this quote and how it looks. Next up is my mood and habit tracker. I basically copied and pasted my last one on this page because I really liked how it worked for me. For this spread I did start with a dark colored paper though. I mixed it with the same peach tissue paper that I got from my pen pal Megan. Thank you again Megan. And what I do is that I use the stick glue first so the tissue paper won't rip. If I use the stick glue on the tissue paper it rips very easily so I thought it would be better to use the glue stick on the paper and then place this tissue paper on top of it. So that is a quick tip that I can give you. At the top I wrote all of the days of the week and the dates as well for the whole month. And on the left side I made three sections. Health, Spirit and Mood. You can come up with your own sections. I chose these because I really want to focus on these habits that um, kind of fall underneath these categories. So I take better care of myself, like getting enough sleep, which has been hard since we are taking care of a puppy right now, but also making sure that I read and write for my spiritual health uh, as well, if that makes sense. And with the mood tracker, I can see if these habits really help my mood. And yeah, I really like checking off these boxes like, okay, I did my reading today. That really gives me a good feeling about myself. So yeah, that is what the reason why I keep track of those habits. Let me know what kind of habits you keep track of. I am always interested in how you can better your life. I used the same lettering style for this spread as my previous pages and this really helps with making the whole look, the whole theme cohesive, which I really like. Then on to the last spread, which will be my first weekly. I preferred the lighter colors over the dark blue one, so I went back to that and used the peach tissue paper a lot again. As you can see, I also used my favorite old text paper from a book that I bought at a thrift shop for like 2 euros. And I think I've used it in every single uh, spread in my theme for the last four months or so. I don't know what it is, but this paper just looks good with every single theme. With this one, it kind of gives that vibe that you are reading a book on the beach and I love it. Something that I did want to mention with these stickers that I used from Action is they don't stick very well and they have a quite big white outline, if you know what I mean. That white border around the illustration or around the image. 
So with some of them, I just cut them off. For the days of the week, I made columns with big numbers and I used that same Crayola super tip and I really like how this turned out. I wrote the first three letters of the day in a cursive font and this idea I've seen multiple times. It looks really good and is really easy to do. As always, I also need a to-do list so I don't forget anything I have to deal with this coming week. And yeah, that's it. Here's a quick overview of all the pages that I made. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!